So now let's create a pre-comp. So just like dragging and dropping our footage into this and uh, there it is, our footage ready to be edited. And also uh, let's bring our main effect, which is a uh, key light. So when you find or when you try to search key light, um, you will have two different results over here, which is the key light is itself and also this uh, package, which is actually a preset that comes with three different plugins, also Keylight included. So I prefer using this because uh, we will use some useful plugin, which is the advanced speed suppressor. Uh, right now, let's uh, turn off the key cleaner. And uh, let's start by selecting uh, our green color. But before of that, let's create a garbage mask. Why we create that? This is because we need to just get rid of what we don't need in the composition, in the final composition. And then we need to uh, make sure that it is under intermediate result. And the first uh, thing that we are going to tweak is to select the green screen color. So uh, if you can notice over here, there's, there's a big wrinkle with a, a really pronounced shadow that is uh, probably something that is going to be like bothering us in the future. Uh, however, most of the um, uh, fabric is, is looking pretty flat and uh, we need to select something that is the uh, most uh, even color that we can find. So let's see over here. Right now it looks pretty good. However, you can notice some noise around the image, around the subject. And uh, yeah, also yeah, the wrinkle part where I was talking about and we have some uh, artifacts uh, all over the place. So let's fix that and how to fix that. Uh, by using this uh, um, tool over here that is screen mat, you will see what is staying and what is not. So the whites are staying into in the image and the darks are gone. So the idea is just to clear up everything around the subject and make sure that the subject is pretty clean so we can find some artifacts here that we need to get rid of. And for that, let's play around with the screen gain. So with this, only with just tweaking this a little bit up, just like be gentle with the tweaks, uh, you will see that everything around uh, the subject is getting uh, deleted. Also, we can play a little bit uh, with the screen balance so you can start like noticing that you will just fade out some of the artifacts on the subject that's fine uh, you notice that there are like still some some things that we will solve it out after uh, some tweakings now let's pre blur a little bit the screen this is important just like to avoid those sharp uh, uh, edges it, which is, is uh, only let's say like five or six uh, points only. And let's continue with the screen mat. This is very important just to get uh, everything uh, pretty much well done. Let's uh, continue with the uh, clip black. So clip black, we will just continue uh, deleting some uh, elements uh, on the dark side. Uh, so we can just uh, move this to maybe 30 something, 30 is fine, yeah. Now, uh, let's uh, clip the whites so we can just uh, start getting rid of uh, those elements over here by increasing the value of the clip, the, the white, or just decreasing it. Yeah, let's just let's decrease it a little bit to, uh, let's say 80 something, 85, 86 is fine. And uh, let's see how it goes. Just let's click on intermediate result. It's looking fantastic. And also let's clean this a little bit more with the advanced spill suppressor. So everything that is kind of uh, green, maybe if we have any uh, sort of information, maybe the um, wrinkle over here. With this, you can just uh, finalize clearing this app uh, only by just uh, turning on this spill suppressor on um, plugin. 
So that's it for the uh, chroma key. So let's uh, click on the footage and let's uh, just add a lot, another mask to just uh, clean even more uh, the footage. So we don't have that thing over there. And probably we have something over here that is not mm, super noticeable. Now uh, let's bring our background and let's start with the compositing process. So I have our background ready for us here. Let's put it down there and uh, let's start first uh, tweaking our scale so it will look as natural or as normal as possible. Also over here, otherwise I'll be like super tiny in that space or I will be super giant on that space. So just like tweak it, uh, just uh, taking into account that it should look as natural as possible. So uh, I think that's good. Let's just uh, reduce a little bit the scale of this. That's good. All right. I am pretty happy with uh, this stage over here. Uh, the edges look pretty good. Uh, just is like something is bothering me is about the color. But as I mentioned, we will be tweaking uh, this out over here to just ma start matching those colors out. So for that, let's bring uh, Lumetri. Uh, right there is fine. And let's play a little bit with uh, the temperature. So I see here that we have uh, like a warmest temperature in uh, the image. A little bit of tint, just like let's reduce this to the green. Maybe minus four is fine. It's looking good right now. And uh, I can notice that some of the shadows are pretty washed out. So let's uh, bring the, a little bit of contrast on the shadows. And um, it's looking pretty good to me right now. And um, let's increase this exposure a little bit. And uh, that is looking great to me. All right. So it looks good. It's a little bit of contrast. And let's see how it goes. It's definitely looking um, balanced and really, uh, really good. However, the background needs a little bit of noise because of the footage that I have uh, has a little bit of, of noise. So let's add some noise into this noise. And let's add a little bit of, yeah, that's that's good. So uh, if you notice in my footage, I have a little bit of noise and over here, it's necessary to have some noise in order to match uh, them out. Uh, and also in the end, I will recommend to add an adjustment layer. So uh, in this adjustment layer, you will just uh, add a Lumetri. And uh, play around with whatever you feel like playing, like maybe some shadow tints, maybe increasing the values over here to make it a little bit more warm. Uh, also, I will add a little bit of course and just to fade out some uh, black values and uh, also and no less important it's to add a little bit of um, blur blurriness on the uh, background so let's add this camera lens blur I really like how it looks it's I really like how it looks. It looks creamy and very, very good. Let's only add uh, three points. 
and um, yeah that's good it's looking fantastic it's ready to export and start surprising everybody out there we're coming to the end of this tutorial and uh, I wanted to say thank you for staying with us and uh, following this tutorial. Uh, thank you for your time. And also, if you really like our content, please hit uh, the like button. And if you aren't subscribed already, please do it because we are going to upload new videos every week. So uh, no more than that. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.